Hey everyone, on this proof of make, we are going to be talking about synthetics. Synthetics is an Ethereum based DeFi platform. Because it's built on the blockchain, it's incredibly easy to access as long as you are a cryptocurrency holder. Because of synthetics place in the decentralized finance or DeFi landscape, it's a very exciting product. Today, we're going to be sitting down with Mike and taking a look at that platform. All right, let's take a look. All right, so this is synthetics. Synthetics. All right. So to start out with, what is a synthetic asset? Well, a synthetic asset is a token on Ethereum, like you know, like you have Link Coin, you have like Dai, right? Other assets like right. that. Uh, it's just that a token, a ERC twenty token, but uh, that's pegged to the value of a non-blockchain asset. Okay. So like, uh, yeah, I see USD there and. Australian dollar, Japanese yen, and then even things that are on the blockchain, like Link Coin, etc., BNB, uh, but represent it as a synthetic asset maker, or you know BTC things that are not on Ethereum, so right, cryptocurrencies, right. XRP things that are outside. So, so it's, a way, it's a way to like trade the value of these things without, without necessarily the having underlying. An underlying. Got it. Bingo. Got it. Yes, right. so that's, that's a synthetic cool. asset. Cool, and then, and this platform allows us to do this in a DeFi way. Yes. Cool. Cool. Yes. Uh, and it uses uh, their they use their oracle for the to set the prices. And so yeah, it, essentially when you come on to synthetics that exchange, um, what you'll need usually to start with is SUSD. So you can go to Uniswap like this, as you know, it's just a quick swap platform. Right. And you could take your Ethereum if you have your you know MetaMask set up in your upper right hand corner, the extension running. You can take like you know point one F. That'll be fourteen uh, SUSD. Uh, and I can do a swap and you click on that. It'll open up your MetaMask. Uh, I'll set a high gas fee. Uh, so it'll go through quickly, it's seven, and I'll click confirm. And so right. this will add to my SUSD balance. I can then go over here. And then once that transaction is confirmed, I'll see, you know, instead of SUSD 10, uh, I'll have like SUSD 24 or whatnot, if it's 14.9. Uh, actually, it'll be 25.6. Yeah. Um, so once that transaction confirms, and you know, typically if you pay a good gas price, that'll be only about you know 15 to 30 seconds. Uh, so they're estimating at the current. Um, and as you know, you can always go to gas uh, station. F gas station. Yeah. F gas station. And uh, kind of see, you know, the standard for under five minutes. So fast, so yeah, put seven. Fast, yeah. yeah, should be under two minutes, et cetera. So this, yeah. should, this should get through. And uh, once I get that notification, we'll see. We'll see that. But anyway, so you, you get your uh, F U your SUSD. And then you could take the SUSD. And then you just put, you know, I want to create two, four, S euro. Uh, and if you go on Google, so this is 1.795. Uh, if you look at Google's rate, um, I'll type, you know, two USD, two Euro, and it's, you know, $1.8. Right. That's so very close then. Very, very close. So, um, you know, and they're probably just rounding, right? Right, right. So these are, you know, so it's pretty good. And, and even if you add up to like, you know, $2 million, you're getting the same so rate. So getting the same rate. Um, $20 million, right? So um, you can, you know, if you buy SUSD, um, you can you can get really good rates. So there's a lot of opportunities for B two B companies right. uh, who sell to maybe like airport currency conversion retailers uh, to basically per, like use synthetics in their back end and then provide uh, services to make those currency converters more competitive, or even challenge some of those currency convert uh, conversion platforms themselves. So it's a, it's a, it would be an, it has a very interesting back end solution. For various things for anybody dealing with currency or, or even with i mean i could see something in the finance industry even having use cases for this yeah and, even, and in the financial services industry because it's more heavily regulated the biggest issue is you know potential intrinsic risk of just the blockchain itself whereas a lot of people think it's just you know it's it's immutable and it will never change and everything's perfect right uh, you do have kind of human error smart contracts someone finds a hack you know a year later which we saw with like the the multi-sig wallet right that exactly Parity put yeah, out yeah. right and it's like there's a lot of systemic risk that comes yeah there was the millions of yeah. dollars hundreds of millions of dollars in these contracts and then turns out someone accidentally right 
accidentally froze just all like, that money. Yeah, no yeah, one yeah. ever has access to it. Somebody on GitHub decides, I'm going to accidentally cause all these platforms to stop working. And right. And then you can see it was risk management. And people were like, oh, freaking we, out. We yeah. were using a library. So yeah, exactly. everyone uses libraries from a variety of things. Right. Um, and so the, there is that specific. So I, I think we, we need to wait a little bit for the market to mature there. But for like smaller things and, right. and things like that, there, there, there's definitely some potential there. Um, but yeah, you pretty much just say, okay, two uh, SUSD. Once you have SUSD, you click confirm trade. Um, they have, as you can see here, fasts allowed. This is to prevent like front running, etc. Yeah. So you 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 kind of stuck to a certain amount of gas. Um, you click confirm, and then um, you can't put if you want your transaction to go fast like I just did before on on Uniswap. I can right. I can actually say, hey, I want the transaction to go fast. But on here. Uh, you, you can't do that because they don't want people front running your trades. Okay, so similar to like the Bancor systems that they have. Bingo. As well. Right. Exactly. Um, so yeah, eventually that that that'll go through. Um, I'll close this for now. Uh, they have pro mode where mm -hmm. you can you know kind of they use like like you know trading view chart so you, you can get look at historical prices while you trade. That's pretty much you know the, the big difference there. Uh, is there any kind of um, extra service or anything with the pro mode that can I, I don't know like. A, Beyond just kind of more data and more charts. No, it's, it's mostly just it's just allowing you to look at you know historical data uh, okay. w while you're you're trading. Um, you know, as opposed to here where you're just you're swapping. Okay. So basically, just, just swap. All right. uh, and then this is swap while you know being able to analyze markets. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's that's pretty much yeah. the big difference there. Um, and obviously, you can view your historical uh, transactions, etc. Look at your wallets uh, and whatnot. Um, and so that's essentially uh, synthetics and how it works. Right on. Do you uh, foresee yourself then using uh, this to do like heavy trading? Is it like an HFT thing? Is it going to be more of like, like who is the customer for this? Who are the people who are going to be using this? Do you think? I, like I said, I think there are people on the back end um, who might be offering solutions to currency conversion retailers. Uh, there's other potential uh, for companies who are offering uh, fintech products to consumers. Uh, that want to be able to potentially give them price exposure okay. uh, to you know various assets uh, for travelers, et cetera, uh, people who work abroad, um, and as you can see, you know there's XRP, BTC, right, um, right. so they're building, they're kind of trying, you know, they're eventually there's going to be commodity futures, so it'll potentially give access uh, to these markets like commodity futures, potentially right, right. Even equities. I think they have on their roadmap uh, and currency and forex to people who may be, even be unbanked or. Uh, who might not have uh, within their country certain um, exchange regulated exchanges that 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 allow uh, for these kind of things, or don't have access to like Americans right, or other right. people in Western cultures who have uh, you know access to so they can benefit from, from the like exposure and build portfolios out of that. Yeah. Okay. And who's putting these assets on the platform? So right now, uh, Synthetics is the major issuer, um, okay. and eventually, uh, from what I understand, they're, they're going to open it up. But but, but currently, uh, they're the major issuer of most of the synthetic assets. Okay, cool. Thanks for sharing this, Mike. No problem. Yeah.